Well, hello guys. Welcome to Life Nuggets number 84. Live in the car. Amen. Hallelujah. That's been an awesome day so far as Monday. And like I promised you, I'm trying to do this on Monday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Amen. Two or three times a week. So just looking forward to bringing you this word on being courageous. You know, I had a phrase called uh, uh, crippled courage that came to mind. Crippled courage. And I got to thinking, you know, how is our courage crippled? You know, we look around today and, uh, you know, God is moving in a powerful way. Uh, and, you, and, you know, we, we look around and we see, uh, uh, for example, demonstrations from all different kinds of groups. Uh, you know, you may ask yourself, you know, uh, and, and, you know, while we sit, we kind of cower down in the corner. You know, every group, you know, every antichrist group, uh, false religious group, every of these groups are, you know, running their mouths, you know, and trying to put pressure on, on God's people. And you just wonder, well, how can uh, all these groups who are opposed to one another, really, in, in ideology, be together? Well, my friends, it's the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who is at work in those who are disobedient. I mean, it's the Antichrist spirit uh, that is all upset and in arms because God is doing something incredible. And the enemy is throwing everything he can at God's people, not only to stop our nation, but also to stop the church and to stop you. You see, uh, if, if uh, one deception the enemy uses is a lot of what I call white noise, a lot of confusion, a lot of voices. And uh, when he comes to you, the Lord speaks to your heart. The Lord gives you a word. You've got some scripture in you. You've got a vision. Uh, you've you got uh, a passion. And all of a sudden, the enemy comes in with a deception. And what he tries to do is he tries to bring something up to you, for example, I know this has happened to me two or three times later, where he brings a, a, a person to you or something that happened years ago, and then he tries to get you to think about, uh, this is this is him trying to deceive you and get you off on the wrong uh, tip. You know, he'll say, put it in some like, like, you know, they did so-and-so, or why did, they, why did they do what they did? And then he wants you to get your mind off what the Lord is saying, what the Lord is showing, what the Lord is directing, the blessings God's blessing you with, the promise he's promised you with. And now all of a sudden you're thinking about this and you're going, well, why did they do that or, or whatever? And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, it's, you, you get thinking what he wants you to think. Amen. Which is darkness. It's always, you're the victim. Look what they did to you. Or look what you did wrong. The accuser of the brethren reminding you of something you did 50, 20, 30 years ago. Or maybe even last night. But when we confess our sins, amen to the Lord. He's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So the Lord is seeking to cripple our courage uh, by getting us to cow down. Uh, through various means in the world today, through through uh, uh, all the turmoil, all the demonstrations, and all the uh, political correctness, and so forth and so on. Or he'll hit you with a deception of a misconception of what somebody said or did. Or the accuser of the brethren who accuses him for our father day and night will, amen, be cast down, can somebody say amen. So these various ways the enemy uses to cripple your courage. But I want you to be encouraged today for when the Lord spoke to Moses in Joshua chapter 1, he said, Moses, my servant is dead, uh, but I want you to be strong and courageous. Have I not called you? And then uh, he says, be strong and courageous and lead this people. See, God has called you to be a leader. God has called you to lead your church, lead your ministry, lead your business, lead your home, lead your marriage, lead your children, uh, lead your business, amen. And he wants you to be strong and courageous in obedience and, and lead, amen. Then, then the, the, as Joshua was to do this, watch this now, the people would enter the promised land or the blessing of God. You see, if the enemy can cripple us, amen, before we, we have inaction, 
uh, well, then we will not receive the blessing or enter the promised land or the blessings or become that which he has called and is wanting us to be and become. Can somebody say amen? So, my friends, um, the Lord said, here's a way to do it. Joshua 1.8. Uh, meditate on the word day and night. Amen. Let the words be on your lips. Hallelujah. Then you'll be able to, to, to uh, uh, you know, obey everything written in it. And then you'll make your way prosperous. Then you'll be successful. So by the word of God, speaking the word, meditating on the word. I mean, knowing who you are in Christ, we're seated with him in heavenly places. So we can be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And rise up. You know what? David had some mighty men who were courageous. One day, a man said, you know what? It's snowing out here. I feel like doing something. I feel like being courageous. So the Bible says he goes down and, and, and jumps into a pit on a snowy day, and he kills a lion. My friend, that's courageousness. Amen. That's boldness. And the Lord told Joshua on several occasions have I not called you? Be strong and courageous. And as men and women of God, as children of the Most High God, hallelujah, we're to be strong, we're to be bold and courageous and step out into that which God is leading us to do. Amen. We don't have to fear. Amen. We don't have to worry. Glory to God because we have power, love, and a sound mind. And my friends, if God be for us, listen to me, who can be against us? So stand up, speak up, show up, step out, amen, into the irresistible future that God has for you. And be strong and correct. Throw off the lies of the devil. Paul said, we're not ignorant of his devices. So my friends, the next time a condemning thought comes, uh, next time a, a deceptive thought about what somebody did or didn't do comes. Amen. You throw that off. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I forgive, release them and let them go. I'm moving on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And my friends, God will do amazing things in and through your life. So Joshua, be bold and be strong because everywhere you place your foot, God said, I will give you. My friends, be blessed. Step out. It's all ours. Amen. As we will rule and reign forever with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So my friends, be blessed. Be lifted up. Be bold. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. See you next time on Hallelujah Life Nuggets. Also, I've got a Facebook share uh, icon at the bottom of my website. So I need a bunch of you guys to go share it. Go to danangram.org, danangram.org, and at the bottom you'll see a Facebook share, share it, amen, you know, people can read the testimony book, listen to the music, amen, watch these nuggets, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, that's my home base, is I have gone digital in the new millennium. Y'all be blessed, peace out, God bless you.